the sun faded like a slow burning ember in the sky. Its rays of gold and honey kissed the red brick building of the library. With a tip from his hat, greetings from the doorman were welcomed as people arrived dressed so elegantly. City Lights 2012, the third installment. A fundraising gala to support the Brockton Library Foundation, Greater Brockton Society for Poetry and the Arts, and the Historical Society. And if you missed it, you missed a fantastic night. These are collaborations with the Library Foundation, the Boys and Girls Club and one of their mentoring programs. We've had nine or ten kids and their mentors here every Friday for the last season and a half working on those garden beds. These kids are learning how to prune and weed and edge and plant and it's all about style and design and quite frankly with all the volunteerism it makes a beautiful job look really easy. The electric waves of expression wafted through the minds of beautiful people that evening. Musical guests Electra 225 helped shape that creative vibe that night. Oh, this is just a fantastic event, uh, Mark. I just, I can't believe how the library has just transformed. It's just a wonderful thing. I come in here day after day for my work, and I'm, I feel so honored to be working here because it's an incredible building. But look around tonight. It's just, you know, it's transformed into a wonderland. It's just beautiful. opportunity to come out and uh, be with the people in the city of Brockton. Brockton Library Foundation supports the Brockton Public Library by raising funds for books, programs, and whatever the library needs, we're here to try to help support it. Volunteers are vital to any city. Brockton is no exception to that. Um, they help us move forward um, in every respect, um, from making events happen to just you know neighborhood cleanups and getting people involved and sharing the message of what Brockton was, is, and will be. So this is one of those events. Uh, unfortunately, they weren't able to do it last year, but um, hopefully it'll continue and get even bigger. Well, the evening is wonderful. This is the second time that we've played this event, and it's a wonderful event for the city of Brockton and for us as well. We like to be a part of it, and uh, you know, it's a wonderful thing for Brockton, a wonderful thing for downtown Brockton. And being a Brocktonian, I just think it's a good thing. It's like my new family, so it's very, very cool. As the night progressed, conversations and libations were toasted to days gone by and to days yet discovered. The uh, history of Brockton has such a significant traction for generations of people. And the new folks that have come to town need to have an appreciation of how we got here. So therefore, it's a, uh, a reckoning, if you will.
So we talked to the team that made it happen the first time. We talked to the Historical Society. We talked to the Library Foundation. I talked to my Poetry and Art Society. Yeah. And I said, do you want to do this? And they said, yes. And we talked about money. We talked about fundraising. We talked about style. We talked about connectivity in the community. We talked about cooperation and collaboration. And lo and behold, we got it. And that being all one is the opportunity for recognizing and appreciating everybody's talents. And so the consequence is, if we all talk, we all win. There's an old adage, when you keep your eye on the goal, you never look at one another. You see the goal. And what is the goal is the passion of doing it right. The room started to spin and I felt the floor drop from beneath my feet. And all of a sudden we were flying higher than the heights of what we often think we know. City Lights 2012 was a night to remember. If you were there, you felt its magic. If you missed this wonderful evening, well, I guess we will see you next time.